round after round. You learn more about yourself. And when I stepped in that ring, it wasn't all about me. All right, all right, all right. So Creed 1 right there on Blu-ray. I love this film and I'm looking forward to Creed 2. So was it better or worse? Let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Creed 2. I really do appreciate it. I really did love the first Creed movie. When that film was first announced, I thought it was one of the worst decisions ever made in film history, but I ended up loving the film. I was a little bit worried about Creed 2. I, th I mean, I knew the film would be good. I, I mean, with everyone attached and Ryan Coogler still being a producer, but he's not the director anymore, you know? So we had this new guy coming in that I've never heard of before. His name is Stephen Capel Jr. I believe he is a brother. Um, this is his real first full length feature other than a film. I believe he directed in 2016 called the land. He wrote and directed that. But after watching Creed two guys, I'm going to go and check out land because this film was freaking fantastic. Not going to waste your time. I like Creed two better than I like Creed one for a number of reasons. First thing is the film feels the same, but also at the same time gives you something different. I remember in Creed 1, or just Creed, um, when Adonis was first fighting his first official real boxing match, the shot or the camera movement then that Brother Kugler used, he used like one shot or one take, and the camera was moving all around the ring or whatever. And it was like a signature camera style that Kugler set for himself. I'm just like, man, I hope this new guy comes in here and is able to do that same exact thing. No, he didn't do that at all, but the film is still great. I mean, it still held its own, and it, I mean, it was better than the first one. So, I mean, I was blown away by that. Um, something else that I just liked about this film is not even talking about the boxing. This is not just a boxing film. This is like, you know, has some deep character depth and drama that goes on to it. I mean, Cree, I mean, uh, Adonis, he's struggling with what he has to do with, uh, with, within the ring and with Drago and things like that. And of course, we're going to talk about that in a second, but everything that he has to deal with outside of the ring too is this very compelling. I mean, he's a grown man now, and I don't want to give his status in the film because I don't want to spoil anything for you, but he's a grown man now. He has to, he's learning how to adapt and make difficult decisions and also try to balance that with his emotions, and that's just not an easy thing to go by. I mean, it's sometimes your emotions in life, they do drive you, and sometimes they can be for better or for worse, and this film talks about all of that, and it doesn't just center around him. I mean, it also centers around Rocky Balboa, played by Sylvester Sloan. I mean, there's some things that he's dealing with too and also michael b jordan's um mother not mother well no she's in this as well of course i'm talking about bianca tessa thompson of course she's in this as well and she has her trials and tribulations has to deal with as well you know what i'm saying and also one thing that i was hoping that i was going to get out of this film is some nice uh interactions between um ivan drago and victor drago the father and son over in russia and we got a little of that it took a while for the film to get, you know, give me what I was wanting because I was a little disappointed at first. But, you know, I, I was patient. You know, this was a nice slow oven cooked dinner. It's not no microwave pop tart, you know, toaster type thing or whatever. And I, I, I like that. I, I mean, I, re I just really like the character development and the character growth and all the relationships and dynamics that, you know, this had this film had to do with all the characters from across the board on the good side and the bad side. And just talking about the boxing, whatever, if you want to just focus on the Russian part or, or, or Victor Drago, uh, I felt that when he was in Russia, when he was in the Ukraine, like the director uh, changed the, uh, the, the uh, frames per second. I don't know. For some reason, when he was training and punching bags, it just seemed like a little bit more grittier and grindier or something. It was just something different about the image on the screen, the cinematography, something to where it stood out from the rest of the film to, uh, villa, to vilify him. Just like, okay, this is the bad guy. We are not rooted for him. We are rooted for Adonis. It was, a, it was effective. 
Um, the the sound editing and sound mixing in this film was great too. You could feel every punch. I mean, like I'm a diehard martial arts fan, and I'm always geeking out when somebody does some type of punch kick combination. I was doing that too in the theater, hopping up and down in my seat, ooh and on at a few cute key points. And the great thing about it was I wasn't disturbing anyone because everybody else in the theater was doing the exact same thing as I was. And my goodness gracious, these dudes in this movie are like just super swole. I mean, like seriously, Michael B. Jordan, like God, like seriously, I just want to like Google Michael B. Jordan Creed workout and dedicate my next two to three years to look like this dude. I mean, like seriously. So ladies, if you want to go see a dude looking good with a shirt off, you know what I'm saying? You can go see this movie. And me, myself, I was like, I mean, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Am I straight? I'm just kidding. But then I, he, he was, he, you know... You know, the dude look he he had his stuff together, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He put in the work and it was trying dude was just he was just like I was just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was what's up. And then that's just him though. But the uh damn I don't what is it what's the cat's name? This dude is playing uh Victor Drago. This dude is a freaking mountain, Florian Montiano or whatever. I don't know his name. It is it, in the film is Victor Drago as Florinian Big Nasty Montano. I, I I'm I'm butchering that. Dude was huge, like seriously, just cock diesel. Like, I mean, like it seemed like every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, he ate like fear, pain, and and I don't know, I couldn't think of nothing else clever to say. But it was just like he's just too big. And now that has to go to show kind of like how unrealistic the film is, because in a real life boxing match, you're not gonna have somebody that's like. 30, 40 pounds per more muscle than you. I mean, it was, it was like true, a uh, David and Goliath type boxing match here. So that was unrealistic, you know, but at the same time, none of these Rocky movies are realistic. I mean, they just punched the crap out of each other over and over and over again. I really did love the relationship between Adonis and this girl, Bianca. It was beautiful. It was real. It was genuine. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they was even able to, you know, um, I always say this, how it's hard to combine comedic and serious moments. And they was able to do that as uh, very well. The way they expressed their love in this film. I was like, wow. I mean, this seemed like a real life couple or whatever. They, they didn't really seem like, you know, um, like, you know, some fairy tale, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, this love, this relationship they had was hard and they had to fight for it, you know what I'm saying? Even if they, even though, we're like, when both parties want something badly, it still can be difficult. And we saw that in this film. I saw that between these two characters. I also got to give a shout out to Miss Felicia Rashad. You know what I'm saying? The black goddess queen you are. The beautiful black lioness. You know what I'm saying? Mama knows best. Felicia Rashad knows best in here. And her performances was as great as well. Shower is going to just snap Adonis back in his place. Like, hold on, little boy. Who you think you're talking to now? I'm Mama Goddess over here. Okay, okay Mama. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all, all that was that was, all that was great. Also, I like how this film dealt with uh, Adonis's reasons the way he wanted to fight, and also uh, Victor Drago or whatever, because they had different reasons, they had different motivations. You know what I'm saying? They had their own, they had their father's influence in them as well. You know, we we always get the uh, well, you know, always get we always hear about fathers that are insecure or you know have a big hole in their life mentally. Um, they want to live vicariously through their child and all that good stuff. Now, at the very climax of the film, I wish it would have popped just a little bit more, but it was still damn good, and I loved it, guys. If I had to rate Creed 2 out of 1 out of 10, hmm, because the film, it did feel a little, it did feel a little long at points. Damn. I want to give this film a 9.25 out of 10. Yes, a 9.25 out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen Creed 2? Or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff there in the description box below. But guys, I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But I'm right there at 6,000. So help me out, subscribe, share the video. I really appreciate it. But guys, again, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Creed 2. And shout out again, Mr. Stephen Cable Jr. You did a great job. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Bernie Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion.
Peace. Peace.